okay guys so to start off with i have this color palette that i actually took a screenshot of from procreate and i've imported the picture right here so i'll be sharing the exact same palette to you guys down in the description so do check that out so i'm not gonna waste time talking so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pick up a brush so i'm kind of confused between software brush and airbrush i'm just gonna try software brush for once and just gonna see how that goes and i'm just gonna pick um color i'm just gonna pick this color right here which is this one at the first in the first row and yeah okay this is working well so i am taking this brush and also making sure that the size is small for now or maybe you can just increase it for now because we are going to create the base first so it doesn't really matter so you can use this brush with 10.2 size and that will work so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a basic um shape for the hair so i'm gonna create this curly kind of shape for today's video so it's not gonna obviously draw the whole hairstyle just gonna show you guys how to actually shade and draw blonde hair and once you have this base what you want to do is you want to increase size of the brush that you were using also you want to go over these little hair strands and make sure that you are not putting much pressure onto the screen now what that will do is it will help us to create kind of good base for the hair as you guys can see it is already looking good now what you want to do is because those thin strands are looking kind of harsh for me for the base what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a blending brush now guys don't confuse yourself between colorless brushes and blending brushes i have a full video on those so do check that out to know the difference between the both and how they actually work so i'm using smudge brush just you can pick any brush that you want what you want to make sure is the opacity or the flow or the strength of the brush is low and also decrease the strength of the brush as well because we don't want to smudge everything out so i just decrease it to one percent just make sure you're blending out the edges or the front part or the starting point of the hair and you can increase the size of the brush and just go over these strands really light-handed to kind of merge these with the base that we have as you guys can see it is merging really well now once you have that what you want to do is you want to create a new layer again and place that layer underneath the layer that we created just now so like that and now just pick up this dark color you can pick up any dark one i'm picking up this one and now what you want to do is now you want to add shadows and for adding shadows i'm using airbrush so obviously keep in mind the light source of your painting and then you can actually start adding the shadows as you guys can see i'm adding these uh, little shadows in the little gaps that we have between the hair strokes that's one thing that you can do too and it will actually make the whole hairstyle look so realistic so that's one thing that i always do wherever you see a gap just add these little shadows there and once again what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the smudge brush that i used also you can keep all the brushes um on the left hand side if you want to whatever you're using and i'm just gonna blend these little shadows out so one tip that i always do is i just hide the base layer and i start blending the shadows so that i can clearly see what i'm working with like that so those were first two steps now what you want to do is once you're happy with the base also i'm kind of not happy with the shadow part so if you think you can actually erase out some part of it you just go ahead and decrease the opacity of the eraser and go over the parts you think are too much now what you want to do is you want to create a new layer just above the base and now we want to find a brush which has a little glowing effect to it so i'm just going to test out a few brushes uh, this is not a glowing brush so let me just find out something this is a glow brush we don't want it to be that harsh so what you want to do is decrease the size of the brush up until the point you just see a little um, thin stroke of the brush so you can actually go ahead and use a regular brush and just decrease the size and use 
the color the lighter color but i like to do it this way that's what i'm gonna do is and also if you think the hair stroke is kind of too harsh you can also go ahead and decrease flow of the brush like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and start adding more hair strokes and once you have that what you want to do is you want to create a new layer and um just Make sure it is right at the bottom of all of the layers that we have. Before we move ahead and blend the hair strokes that we just drew, what you want to do is you want to use the similar brush and make sure the opacity is really, really low. Also, the size of the brush is really low. And you want to create those baby hairs. I hope that is making sense. So I'm just going to go ahead and add hair like this around the edges of the whole hair strand that we have right here. Like that. And just go back to the layer where we have the um, lighter hair strokes and add more. Once you're happy, what you want to do is you want to again pick up the smudge brush that we used and just start smudging the harsh parts of those hair strokes. As you guys can see, I'm just smudging the starting in the end points of the hair. I'm just going to put less pressure onto the brush and go over these really lightly. Whatever you think the hair is kind of looking too hard. As you guys can see, it's looking good now. Now, the last step is to highlight the hair, which actually creates the whole realistic kind of look. So for that, I'm using the similar glowing brush. Or you can just use a regular brush in a white color. So that's what I like to do. I like to use airbrush. And I'm using airbrush for the first step. So I actually create highlights in two layers. So for the first layer i'm using airbrush and i'm just gonna start adding random highlights here and there once you're happy just start blending these out make sure you're only blending the starting and the end point of the highlights we don't want to blend it out completely so to do that just decrease the size of the brush and once you're happy with that go ahead and pick up the glow brush increase this increase its size and also you can increase the flow and add little dots over the base of the highlight and if you think they are too harsh you can just go ahead and pick up this much tool again and blend these out just a bit and yeah you are basically done but at this point i just feel that i should have more hair strokes on the base so that's what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add a few more hair strokes on the base that we created and these are going to be really thin so uh, once you're done you can actually see what is missing and what is not and you can um, accordingly you can add those details and yeah also just going to add a darker shadow really lightly and you're basically done i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did give this video a big thumbs up also do not forget to subscribe to my channel i post every monday and friday also if you do create something on tutorials and tag me on instagram i actually go through each and every one of you and i really appreciate it other than that i will see you guys in the next video